today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to balance the ball on your neck, and more importantly, how to do a few neck stall variations. Learning the neck stall is pretty straightforward, but you're actually not balancing the ball on your neck, but rather on your back with the ball resting towards the back of your head. And a lot of people tend to get this wrong, but if you get it right from the get-go, it's gonna get a lot easier to learn. In order to land the neck stall as a beginner, you need to follow these steps pretty accurately, but as you progress and become better, you can disregard the tips and tricks that I have in order to make the neck stall look better. So let's start with a stance. Stand with your feet at about shoulder width and your knees flexible like this. And then we've got the hands. You can either have your hands near your armpits as you're in the middle of a push-up, or you can do the chicken wing or the airplane. The reason why you're having your hands like this, this, or this is to create a ball with your shoulder blades on your back. And now for the most important part, which is the angle of your back. So you got the stance, you got the hands, now you need to lean over to about 90 degrees angle and then you have to look straight up like this. So now you know everything you need to know before adding the ball. You got the stance, you got your hands, you're leaning forward, level on your back and you're looking forward. Now just place the ball on your back with the ball resting towards the back of your head and there you go, that's the next doll. But now you need to learn how to throw the ball onto your neck so you need to keep your knees flexible and you need to cushion the fall of the ball like this. Now onto the variations. And first up we got the neck flicks and chill. Nice. You start off in a neck stall and then you go all the way down with your knees like this, put your hands on your thighs and let the ball roll on the back of your head like that. And then as the ball is rolling down your head, you want to extend and explode like this. Just like in those shampoo commercials, you know? And it will look something like this. And now it's just up to you to catch it back on your neck or just do anything else. It's up to you. It's football freestyle. You can do whatever you want. And next up, we got the around the moon, which is basically an around the world, but instead of using your feet, you're using your head. So it's a perfect trick to learn if you don't want to get your brand new sneaks dirty. So once again, you start in a neck stall and you can use your hands for support, but this time you want to go slightly to your side before flicking the ball up. And instead of flicking the ball with the back of your head, you want to flick it with your shoulder like this. And now when the ball is on its way up, you need to keep eye contact with the ball at all times. So you need to follow the ball and then catch it on the other shoulder. And then the around the moon is gonna look something like this. Before we finish off, let's quickly recap with some key pointers. Remember the hands and the stance. Keep your back level at all times or slightly leaning forward with the ball resting towards the back of your head. And don't try to balance the ball on your neck, which is ironic because it's called a neck stall. And uh, avoid these mistakes. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and that you learned something new. And if you did, leave a like and a comment down below on what you want me to teach you guys in the next video. Was it too easy? Was it too hard? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to become a better football freestyle, check out the playlist right down below, but not before you check out the Unisport Star link over there if you want to cop these brand new Copa Mundial PK. And don't forget to subscribe with the bell notifications on and I will see you guys in the next video.